If we think about opening the economy, one of the necessary and related things is opening schools. How do you think those things work together? And how would you, if you had the authority, actually choreograph the opening of the economy over the next few months? Oh, boy, tough question. I mean, first of all, you have to ask, where are the major places of transmission? Who gives it to whom and how? And if you can really let loose your health department to come up with smart ways to answer those questions, then you could start saying, all right, well, if this is if it's the case that a five year old is very unlikely to infect anybody, if we can really prove that, then perhaps kindergarten is safe as long as the teacher or the attendants in the kindergarten are well protected. And then you can decide how to do that. If you look at the CDC guidances, they thought this through. They have incredible detail about schools and how schools can open. I think the problem is, and it was in that clip of tape, Valley, that you played of the president when he said, well, I don't understand. You know, she tested positive today, but she was negative on the last test and the one before that. Well, Mr. President, that's the point. You can't use testing right. to decide this person is safe and this one isn't, because as a day goes by, you may be exposed to the virus and then the next day and then the next. And so, of course, you might be test negative on Monday and test uh, positive on Tuesday. This is why testing alone isn't going to ensure that any workplace is safe or any school is safe. You have to have smart strategies that say, look, we can't guarantee absolute safety to everyone but we can guarantee a lower risk threshold for this setting, this setting, this setting. And you know, I'll tell you the, the, the you, setting that has me oh, go right ahead. now, if I may, is uh, few people seem to be aware that in addition to the two aides we've heard about in the White House who have tested positive, 60 members of the Secret Service are on quarantine right now, and 31 have tested positive. So, I mean, my goodness, if the Secret Service has that high an infection rate and they are in closest contact with the president, I have to say this is this is looking like a security threat and this is looking like a high risk setting. 